What's up, YouTube? I'm standing under a Subaru, all-wheel drive Subaru. And if I had a dollar for every Subaru I had the pleasure of getting into between 80 and 100,000 miles, they all have a bad rear differential. Why is that? Because they don't change the fluid in the differential. How small this is. Do you think the fluid inside of here can handle 100,000 miles worth of abuse? Absolutely not. It probably holds less than a quart. So when they recommend servicing it at Subaru is way off for their mileage. I'm gonna say anywhere below 30,000 miles is a good indicator for you to replace your rear differential fluid on your Subaru. Um, and if you're Ubering and lifting and off-roading, then I would say sooner than that. Look how small it is, all right? What do you think this costs to have this replaced with a new one? Has to be every bit of $1,500 to $2,000 at the dealership. A used one, you're gonna get the same thing. Unmaintained, uh, and, and if it's if it, and if it's any good. Highest failure rate rear differential that I see is a Subaru. And I'm seeing it more and more and more in the vehicles that we see today um, because they've made them so, so small. And you would think that the dealerships are recommending them for early service. Obviously not, or I wouldn't see so many fail. Thanks for watching.